Are you ready? This is gonna be weird. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you, I really hope you are well. Are you well? Let me know down below. Uh, welcome to our kitchen. Our kitchen on the world wide web. A, a phrase we don't say that often anymore, is it the world wide web? Um, a bit like fiddlesticks, which I said the other day. There's lots of other things that you just don't say anymore. Anyhow, if you did not realise what you are watching, and you should because before you click on things you should check the title and stuff like that. A bit of cyber security for you there. Uh, we're doing a kitchen, I'm a bit hyper today, kitchen gadget testing video today. Uh, there is a whole playlist where I try them out. Sometimes they are amazing, can generally help people in the kitchen, uh, save people's lives in some way. Uh, yeah. I know that sounds strange, but generally I've had messages like that. So please consider before commenting down below that some of these gadgets can generally help people. And of course, some are novelty, some are strange. We just take the rough with a smooth ride that wave, okay? All right, first one today, I'm not gonna lie, is like this. It's a um, Chinese uh, gadget that's come through with absolutely no English on whatsoever. I'm gonna have to do uh, my research on it, but this is it. Okay, uh, I don't know if any of you know what that is straight away, but apparently this will be um, a washing machine in our sink. Oh, we don't want that, do we? We, we know what that means. We're gonna start off by charging this thing up and we'll come back to it at the end. Amy, are you gonna come and have a look? Are you gonna help me? Sit, mate. Stop licking my arm. Bad as Mrs. B. Right, we're gonna plug that in there. Why are you on? Why are you... <laughs> oh my god, stick it in the sink! It's only a short cable, what the heck's going on? Anyhow, a couple of graters today. This thing is called the Great Garlic Grater. It sounds like a kid's book or something, doesn't it? It's quite a ceramic looking, like, garlic grater. It's quite expensive. So let's get some garlic and see if this thing's great. See if it's so good, it'll make me take my cloves off. No. Oh wow, this is actually handmade by skilled artisans. That's exactly what it says. That's not something I would normally say. I don't, artisan's quite a big word for me. And just as a reminder, if I can remember where I get these things from, <laughs> the Chinese one, I don't think so. Um, I will post a link to it down below, all right? Oh my gosh. Oh, we've got one of these. Hmm, we've seen these before. I'll come on to that in a minute. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Looks like a nose. But have a look at that, that is beautiful. I really like that. I feel like, I, you know, people at old school used to put plates on their walls in their house. If you still have that, you might need to talk to your parents, all right? So the first thing you need to do is get the tubey thing. These things are amazing, by the way. Uh, and you just go like that. <laughs> it's so cool. Now, the way we peel it with this is we take our lovely ceramic plate. I feel like I'm gonna ruin it. But you literally take the garlic, okay? And then you just go like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, if Phoebe's iPad arrives in a minute and I go out to the door, you know when you've got garlic on your hands? Because you literally, that's my point, you literally, I'm driving garlic up my fingernails here. And you're the sort of person where you're like, oh, I don't smell the garlic anymore. Someone knocks on the door, Mrs. B comes home. I will stink. And she'll go in full Sarah Connor mode. And we can, oh, that is good. Fair play, that is working well. It's taken the moisture out slightly that is holding it down like a glue. And you are getting chopped garlic. I absolutely love this. I mean, if you are okay with garlicky hands, that is amazing. And it's pretty and it's quite funky. Um, you probably want to do it on your own rather than people around, because everyone's like, ugh. But that's actually really nice. The other thing you can do in most supermarkets now is you can get a whole tub of pre-grated garlic in the freezer section, and it's genius. We, we keep that quite a lot. Shh. All right, bit of a surprise today. I'm giving away all these gadgets, depending on what social media following you are, uh, ideally one from each one. So YouTube, uh, the top pinned comment for my latest video uh, that I can see uh, is Jerry Larson. Uh, he comment about me saying seal with my kids joining in. So Jerry, get in touch and I will send you this. Use my website contact form, okay? And I'll make sure it's you. All right, cheers, mate. Anyhow, next gadget is the Tomato Huller by Tridu, also known as the Avidia Atomat. And I paid $5.99 for this. Why would you want to hull a you I know why you want to hull a tomato, because you want to get the core out. Of course, of course you do. 
You're, you're still watching, not me. So you've got a thumb rest here, and I think it's going to go through it. Are you ready? So. No. <laughs> As I'm pushing down, it's pushing air into that, so it's getting very soft. Oh, I wonder if I have to push. Ah, and then. Oh, gee. Oh, I missed it. Oh, gosh. Okay, and now there's a core. <laughs> it just fired tomato across the floor. Look at this. That's amazing. Now, that end needs to be a little sharper, in my opinion. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Firing tomato juice everywhere. But let's try and do it here. I mean, that is fine. Who cares about the tomatoes? Oh, do you want to say hello to your granddad? I do feel that the smaller tomatoes are slightly more fragile. So this is a, this is a firm one, all right? This feels good. Um, so we're going to go in here. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. That worked well. And that is really a, your standard size tomato. Oh my gosh, that was fun. The finale. Can we do the big boy beef tomato one? I don't know if we can. Oh my gosh. Oops. <laughs> oh, it looks like a little tomato palm tree, doesn't it? I would say, folks, that is a winner. Bit strange. Have your own tomato party. Uh, is going to my latest patron to sign up across all tiers, which is Rebecca Snellenberger. That is an amazing name. Right, I'm gonna sign this with packaging as best I can and uh, send it to you. Get in touch on Patreon, message me, thank you. This is just a very quick reminder to tell you about the cake stand, the silicon baking mats and the veggie prep kits. All of those right now are on Amazon uh, in the UK and US at a discount. There's very limited stock left in the US and the bulk will be in the UK. There's only limited amounts left. I put discounts on so that if you live in different countries to helpfully allow for the shipping, I can't guarantee how long it will be when we get much in stock. So if you've got someone with a birthday in June or July, and you need one and you're gonna be like, when are they back in stock? I'm telling you now, this is, I've said it a few times, once it's gone, for now, it's probably gone, for reasons. Imagine that these three cool dudes turned up to your party. An air pump wine opener, okay? Uh, penetrate the needle vertically and fully into the cork. So this, okay, the, see that needle, look at that thing. Gee, you wouldn't wanna stand on that. I mean, you'd struggle to stand on that, which is good. Push it down. Are you ready? This is going to be weird. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jeez! My gosh, that was amazing. Wow. Ah. The mood I'm in today, I don't think I should drink that wine. <laughs> I'm really hyper. I'm so sorry. Do you know what? I'm actually genuinely happy that that gadget worked. I don't need to do it again. Stonkin. All right, so this one's gonna to go to Twitter. Uh, Vicky Clark, with an E on the end, who's just one of my latest followers. Uh, you're gonna get this, all right? So um, I'll even give you a cork. There we are. Stick it on there. There we go, that'll keep it safe in transportation, won't it? All right, next up um, is a ripoff of the As Seen On TV label. Look at that, global TV product. They start doing that now. They're making ripoffs of ripoffs. The amazing oven glove for your right or your left hand. Convenient. Uh, Non-slip, safe grip, high heat resistant, and it's up to 280C, 540F. That's hot. I don't really know how I'm gonna test this. <laughs> Do you know what? It doesn't look like an oven glove at all. It looks like something you get from a hardware store. And yes, it will fit. Can I say this? Shamal! Mm. We need to bake something. Yeah, we are gonna need to bake something. I'm not just gonna turn my oven on and bake a tray i only do that on the weekends this is the betty bossy with recipes uh kitchen gadgets apple grater to grate apples and remove the core oh it takes the core out as well i didn't know that betty brilliant so we're gonna make some little apple tart things with puff pastry um so we can bake that's basically why we're using this all right then lads my uh, nephew jack actually you might remember him from the video that i did years ago when he made the banoffee pie and he's so cute he's like okay dudes we're gonna make the bananas now dudes right dudes it's looking great and now he's turned into like, yo, know, lads, yeah, like, I think some of his mates watch these videos. You gotta tell him I said that, all right? Best time of my life. <laughs> I'm totally gonna get him to come on and do a follow-up video. 100%, he's, he's, he's a lovely kid, honest. 
apple, okay? It goes in there. Oh, gosh, I dropped it. That's tricky. You've got to get the drop right. Oh, yes, I love that. <laughs> it's got the arrow. That is completely barry proof. That is doing something. Doesn't seem to be wanting to go any further down. To be fair, I didn't put this in to test it, so. Oh, it's in there, you dingo. It's there. And the core is there. All right, we just keep going. Behind me. That's a workout. This, Betty, is not comfortable to grasp. I do not like the ergonomics of this gadget. Grated apple, but it's got bits of core in it. You can sort of see it tried to do it, and the core's gone off to one side. <laughs> well, let's try. I need some more, so we'll try another one. Maybe I've got to be lighter with it. This feels like it's going well. That's gone right down to the bottom, Betty. And we lift that out. <laughs> We've made another, like, this is a mushroom. We made a tomato palm tree, but look, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, I thought that was gonna be terrible for a moment. Genius. All right, so this is going to Instagram. <laughs> latest follower is Vicky Clark again. You ain't getting two, mate. Uh, Hoppy751 is the uh, next one, so I'll send that to you. Please get in touch. Instagram, message me, all right? All right, folks, uh, you know, it's starting to get brown. If you put a little bit of lemon or lime juice in with that, it does uh, stop that, but we're going to be quite quick. A little bit of light brown sugar on there. I've got some ready-made uh, puff pastry sheet there. Actually, I think it's puff pastry. Uh, didn't actually really look. I was so tired. It's 6 a.m. in the supermarket. Cheers. A little bit of a cheeky egg wash on one half. Then you're gonna grab a fork and then crimp my ride. It's just so simple. <laughs> a lot of people are scared of cooking. It's, and that's why I do these videos. I know I have so much fun with the gadgets and the hacks and the giant foods and all that stuff. I love it. But my main passion is, is inspiring people to cook. In they go. Uh, just bake it to the golden brown about 15 minutes. All right, folks, before we go to the dishwashing uh, gadget for the end, uh, we've got one more. This is called, I've had this a very long time. It's called the Exa. Can you say that? Exa. It sounds like it's at, it's at fresh. Fresh. The solution for kids who refuse to eat the eggs yolk. <laughs> Look at that kid. She's being force fed that egg. She clearly does not want to eat that egg, does she? I present to you Exhibit A. Sorry. Uh, the only way to test this is to do soft and hard ball eggs, in my opinion, and also do some with no hex and some with the hex thing. So um, hopefully uh, we should be able to determine if it's worked or not, or the difference it's done to the yolk. So let's stick the hard egg in there. <laughs> it literally is like putting an egg in for launch. Then that sort of spindle sits on this to keep it, I guess, sort of uh, locks in, yeah, to keep it straight. Yes, that is locked in. Oh my gosh, are you ready? This is gonna be awesome. I've had gadgets like this in the past, but this is the most exciting, exciting uh, one I've seen. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it not going back? Oh, if we let it go, working amazingly. This is one of those gadgets that one person in the comments will be like, this is what you do. Then everyone else sees it and they all go, yeah, you should have done that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's me. Nailed it. <laughs> it's like a normal, you got to... Okay, it's not amazing, but we're getting some spin on it. This is, this is actually fun, to be fair. Oh, this smaller egg's getting a much better spin on it. Maybe that other one was just slightly oversized for it. Folks, I've got some cold water in the pan there, and this is the Elvis Egg Timer, a gadget I've used many times here on the Gadget Playlist. It sings three different songs, soft, medium, hard boiled egg. It is my aim by the end of 2021 to have my own Barry Lewis one. Maybe 2022 early start. I want three phrases. I was thinking stonking, by ER, and um, howdy folks, yeah? Anyhow, I'm gonna get some cold water ready so the minute it comes out, we can cool it down and that'll determine my soft and hard boiled eggs. Should work. And whilst the egg's getting ready, there's something about having a one-handed 
glove. It's making you want to buy another one, isn't it? I have always liked the ones where you put both hands in, like the ones there. Oh, I tell you what, my hand's not on fire yet. Yes, it is. Wow. But you wouldn't normally hold it for that long, would you? These look all right, don't they? Oh. If I eat it right now, it's like an inferno inside, like a McDonald's apple pie. But yeah, for like, you know, not standing around and being like, oh, doing a video on the internet, uh, putting it down like that, it's fine. In fact, I would say, it's quite handy. It's just an oven glove, isn't it? Viva Las Vegas, folks. So, soft eggs coming out. Ooh, that's gonna cool you down. Gonna keep pushing on. You can hear hound dog. That's medium. All right, I'm not sure what to expect from the uh, soft boiled eggs. Uh, so we've got the one here that was done with a hex and the one without. This, the one without feels lighter. All right, oh nice. A nice runny soft egg, cool. Uh, so this one we're kind of hoping for more of a mixed color yolk and yes, we've got it. We have got it, <laughs> look at that. It's a bit weird. Oh, it just went to the toilet. But you've got your egg white that's slightly stained and then like a more golden yolk in the middle. <laughs> it's done it. Right, this is no hex, okay? Classic boiled egg. One thing I will say is deviled eggs are massively, massively underappreciated. They are delicious. They take a boiled egg and just make it so awesome. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? It sort of worked. Like it probably should have span it a few more times. I'm not gonna do the thing where I go, I've done that enough times on camera. Very, very fun. <laughs> Look, I've sort of made a penguin. Um, I th it's just gone to one side more than anything. Down the middle you can see a bit more and there's a little bit like it's tea stained, uh, which is another fun thing to do with kids actually. Um, so I would say it's kind of for that one, it's pushed the yolk all to one side, which is fine. Maybe should have span it even more. It only tells you to do it a couple of times and I did give it quite a good go. Uh, it was fun, but that has worked. All right, so that one is going to Facebook, uh, Christine Custard. There we are, Christine. Uh, I'll be sending that. Please message me via my website. So that is it then, folks. Another kitchen gadget testing video in the bag. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Smash that button, baby, for regular videos. And of course, have a baraphon. Check out all the other videos here on the channel, over 1,500 of them. And especially if you enjoyed this one, the kitchen gadget playlist. You're gonna need the popcorn. See you next time. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Cyber's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. Oh, wait a minute. We haven't tested this yet, have we? So I'm gonna use a, an iPhone cable, I guess, to reach from there to there. Just warm water into my washing bowl, and we're gonna see if it mixes this. I don't think it's gonna reach quite so well, so I'm gonna give it a, I don't want the cable just to be completely stretched. Stick it in there. Oh, wow. I'm gonna put some washing up liquid in and to see if it mixes it, I mean, it should. It's gonna make me my washing up bowl. This is, I've just smeared that on. This is so weird, it's sort of like, put it in. Gonna give it a couple of minutes. It's like there's something in it. I mean, I know it's only sauce. I was trying again now. I've got, I'm not gonna give this one away. I'm gonna give this to my friend who is nearly 40 and lives on his own and is very unhygienic when it comes to cleaning things, having been around his house a few times. He's getting this and he will use it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you again.